we are delighted to present this important forum. forum. We at Harby Communications have worked diligently at building relationships between businesses in the United States and the Caribbean. This will remain our focus, and we invite you to talk to us about how we can assist you. On behalf of Heartbeat Communications, Invest Caribbean Now, and the Caribbean Tourism Organization, I would like to extend thanks to several people. To Dr. Grace Lapin, Mr. Patrick Lapin, and Avalon Partners for stepping up to the plate, not only at this, at this year's marquee sponsor, but as a partner and friend in helping us to deliver a stellar event. To the government of the Turks and Caicos Islands, its premier, Dr. Rufus Ewing, and the entire team at the Turks and Caicos Investment Agency for being a gold and a reception sponsor this year. To Royal Caribbean Cruise Limited, for their gold sponsorship support and for being this year's corporate leadership honoree. To One Caribbean Television brand, Bob, Cara, Marley, for having our back for the third straight year. To the CTO, especially Director of America's Silma Brian Bramble, Brown Bramble, I'm sorry, for your consistent partnership and support. To our China and Caribbean panel sponsor this year, the Sino-American Friendship Association, our thanks. To our supporting sponsor and panel presenter, the American Chinese Commerce Development Association, and our special partner, the Chinese American Business Development Center, again, our thanks. To our program advertisers, including the Nevis Investment Agency, the St. Kitts Tourism Agency, the Turks and Caicos Sotheby's International Realty and Prestigious Properties of the TCI, your support has been and is greatly appreciated. To our supporting partner, Dumouli Inc. and Mr. Jeremy Stephen for his AV support again this year. Jeremy, thank you. To our 30 media partners, including the PR Newswire, News America's Now, Carrot PR, and others, thank you. To our stellar speakers and panelists, on the Honorable Beverly Nicholson Dotti, Chairman of the CTO and Commissioner of Tourism of the U.S. Virgin Islands, to Mr. Anthony Eterno of the U.S. Department of State, to Mr. Alan Lowenstein of Wedgwood Capital, to the Honorable Premier Dr. Rufus Ewing, to the Honorable Minister of Finance, Washington Misick, Ms. Heather Flosiak, Mr. E.J. Saunders, Mr. Brian Lilly, Mr. Ganesh Ramanathan, Mr. Xiaogong Lu, Mr. Zhang Lu, Ms. Lili, Mr. Miguel Reina, and Mr. Adam Goldstein, our heartfelt thanks. Mr. Arthur Piccolo and Dr. Lapin, again, thank you to our MC this morning, Kara Coleman, excellent, uh, really appreciate it. To my hardworking CMO, Felicia Prasad, who I don't know where she, how she gets any sleep at night, but uh, she's always working who does the job of a small army on a daily basis, our thanks. And a special thank you to a select list of people, including Mr. Mike Ronan of Royal Caribbean International, Mr. Raul Prasad, Mr. Urban Clare of the Caribbean Immigrant Services and the CTO's Diaspora Committee, Mr. Arthur Piccolo again, Ms. Yulia Karnayevic, Ms. Ann Walters, Ms. Melanie Reeves, our check-in team of Chuck Christian, Eddie and Trevon, our photographer Hayden Roger Celestian, our videographer Sean Walsh, Mr. Jared McAllister of the New York Daily News, and especially to the Radisson Martinique Hotel staff, and most of all to our delegates, all of you, our ministerial attendees, commissioners and directors, for taking time out to be here with us again. We could not do this without you, so thank you. Thank you and thank you, and we look forward to your continued support throughout this year, and we look forward to your attendance next. Thank you very much.